Hello guys, and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today, I have something special in collaboration with someone else. Uh, this is um, someone that works on M Creator and stuff like that, and he's really good with math. I needed a script recently that would basically follow the player, as you can kind of see the particle effects in front of me are kind of just move with me, so I can look up and down and stuff like that, and it will kind of follow the player which is pretty cool uh, it could be used for a number of things from displaying particles to sounds to whatever you really need it's uh, supported for not just the player but you could also do it for entities as well and um, yeah it's it will be really handy especially in the future for making a more advanced things for Minecraft so basically that's basically what it does. If we go into third person, you can kind of see what it does. It kind of follows the player around. And it follows the direction where the head is facing. Uh, not so much the body, but the head, yes. So uh, we can offset the coordinates and the distance of how far the particle actually goes. And we can also set offset the position where the particle is. So for example, I have it uh, offset it on the y-axis, um, 1.6, so it meets, meets the eye level of the character. Um, the position where it's the distance, I believe, is 1.8 or something like that in distance. So it's going 1.8 out and 1.6 up. So that's basically how we get, got it in front of us. So that's basically what's going on here. And as you can see, it kind of follows us with the position that we're looking at, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. All right. So let's go into the script. It's actually really short. And it's amazing how compact it is. So I shouldn't have a problem explaining how it actually works. I'll just quickly save out of here. And then we will hop into the one procedure that I'm using to basically run it. So you will need one local variable. I have just assigned the letter D to this particular variable. Um, it's a number variable, nothing spectacular. If you want to make a local, var local variable, you just click on the green plus icon right here, and then you go number, and then you basically assign something that isn't um, already used for dependencies. So don't assign X, Y, and Z, world, entity, etc. Um, I think block is one as well, so don't assign any of those ones, but you can basically call it whatever you want. D wasn't used, so that's why I used it. Um, yeah, so that's basically the going to be covering our distance, how far away from the player that we're going to be um, making the object or script run from. Now, the method is the same for pretty much everything. I've just assigned it to a particle. However, you could basically do it whatever you really want, um, which is actually really cool because you can um, spawn an entity, whatever you need, like even play a sound. If you want it to play right in front of the player, you can do that. Uh, but the method is the same. So you're going to need your local variable. This will control the offset of the direction away from the player. So if you set this to zero, it's going to be right on the player's axis or the entity's axis, depending on where you're running it from. So 1.8 is basically what I assigned for that. That's one block or one meter and 8.8. Um, .8. So this is measured in meters, of course. So that's what it is. The other thing that we're doing is we're basically getting the entity's position and we're adding the that position with the X value of looking angle of angle vector of the entity and we're multiplying that by our distance so that's basically this is our distance so we're multiplying that one by 1 1.8 um, to explain what that basically does it's basically just getting the direction that we're basically looking at and then we're changing the distance by that much but we also want to make sure that it's in the same position as a the entity that we're basically running the thing from. So that's where we come into that. You can also basically use the ent entity position and add or subtract based on the coordinates um, where you want. For example, I needed the eye level of the 
actual player. So I basically went and created a another math operation and I've gotten the Y position and then I plused and like added and then 1.6 which just happens to be the perfect eye level for the particle. And then it's the exact same for the look vector and all that stuff. The other stuff down here isn't really too much. It just has to do with the particle settings. These are the three things that you'll actually need with your particle for your X, Y, and Z coordinates. Um, for example, if you wanted to set this up on something else, uh, we could do a sound quickly. Uh, we can run a sound, uh, for example, or we could do a spawn jam. That might be a little bit easier. So we can just uh, turn that into there. We'll delete the X, Y, and Z blocks. And then what we would want to do is we would want to make sure that our distance for this is set up. And then what we would do is we would create a math operation and we would just put that so it's like this, just so it's a little bit easier to follow. And we would do that for all three of our positions here. And then what we want to do is we want to get another math operator. This time we're just gonna leave it the way it is. We're gonna multiply. So that's the asterisk sign. And then we want to put that on the bottom one right here. After which we want to make sure that our local variable is basically in the position of the multiplication after the multiplication sign. And then lastly, what we need to do, or a couple things that we have to do is we have to get the position of the entity. So we need to do that for all X, Y, and Z coordinates. And then the last thing that we need to do is basically go back to the same entity data and we want these three blocks right here. So this one's X, and then we want the Z, and, or pardon me, the Y, and then we want the Z as well. And it's literally that easy to set up. All we need to do is basically tell it what item to basically spawn. Uh, we could do a bunch of slime or eggs or whatever we want, and it will basically drop that item repetitively um, constantly at the position that we're looking at. So let's just basically delete the other one. Um, actually, I'm not gonna delete it. I am just going to move it off to the side here. And we'll just uh, swap it in for this one right here. And we're going to just save this and hop back in game and I'll show you that it works. All right, so I'm just gonna load up that world quickly and then we'll basically should be spawning a bunch of slime through where it's we're actually looking at. So it should be in the same position or probably around the foot position of where the player is, but it'll be, yeah, I forgot to set the Y axis. So you can kind of see where it's spawning. It's roughly where our feet would be spawning. So it's on our access point, um, right where our feet are. So that's basically how that works. Um, if you need to offset it for the player, then it will be 1.6 blocks in the height level. But um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you have any um, questions, feel free to ask. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.